हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बल्क डिलीट ऑपरेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द यूजर लिस्टिंग एट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर साइड सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द टास्क लिस्ट लेट्स गो थ्रू ए क्विक रिविजन वी हैव दिस इज माई बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट we have already covered the multi user uh, part it's a web application so obviously it is a multi user application this part is also completed we have two roles here user and admin right it's covered user registration we have covered login we have covered for both the roles and log out we covered we can save here contacts this is done update is done listing is done searching is done for the contact entity delete one by one is done delete bulk is done okay and now we have some uh, admin profile and user profile editing it is out of my scope and this export import part is also out of my scope and now we have this part this is what i am going to discuss today so admin can see all registered user list this is in my scope so this is the point i am going to talk in this video so let's go through the coding now before moving to the coding we should check the service do we have all complete implementation available for this user listing so this is the method i am going to use here so this method will provide you all the registered user list so this is the method we have do we have implementation for this method go to the implementation right this is the implementation but it is not completed so let's complete this so i'm going to complete this so we can execute here a query so this is the query i'm going to use we can take the help from dao we have user dao and uh, the user dao has a find by property method okay this is the method i can use okay so this method will be used here come to the implementation so user dao dot it's find by property and i'm going to list all the contacts for property go to the database here role where role is 1 sorry where role is 2 role 1 represents general user sorry role 1 represents administrator and 2 represents general user so i want all the users of role 2 so let's write here this code this is my role field this is role and the role is 2 so i should take from the constant so this is my user service dot we have role here we have created constant for this so role is general user role and now the value written by this find by property method is your list of users and this is what i am going to return here directly right so this is the implementation done i could reuse here this find by property method from dao which will provide me all the users for role this user and this user role has value 2 2 means it's a general user right so this is what i am going to use here now the implementation is ready it's time to check this ui so here i am already logged in from the administrator and uh, administrator this is the administrator dashboard you can see here and uh, admin sorry it's like just just wait a sec i'm going to log in from admin so we have admin here amit this amit is a admin here and this is amit 123 is a password for the admin yes this is your admin dashboard it's correct i could see here user list so this user list is incomplete here so i'm going to map here one url for this user list so just come to the user controller this is controller and uh, this is contact and this is user okay i can add here one url i'm going to map one url this is user and this is admin 
so this is what I'm going to reuse just a minute so this is my user list get user list and this is admin slash user users so admin slash users and the view will be your users right so we required a JSP page here so create a JSP inside this view just a minute yes I got this users okay this is ready now I can copy a template from a page this is your dashboard page I can copy this just copy this this will work and this is your user dashboard not user dashboard this is your user list it's correct and things will be same and I'm going to change here this is a user list I'm going to make it h3 and here to do this will be the user list user list okay it's done let's check it and before that I need to add this link here so the link can be added from the include page and this is my menu and here we have all the menus so this is your condition for the general user and we are preparing here admin menu so this is your admin menu so I can add here admin menu so let's prepare the admin menu I can directly he write here this menu look at this this is s colon URL close this and the value is slash admin slash users okay now refresh the page and check this user listing yes we could see here user list and this is to do we have to complete this but I could see this page so it's a blank right now now it's time to call the service so do we have injected the user service here yes it is already present user service is linked here and now it's time to call that so you need to add here a model object this is model m and model m dot add this is add attribute I'm going to add this through users okay this is the users and the users will be taken from the user service user service dot find what is the method get user list this is right okay so all the users will be written by this method and it is added in the request scope through the users now I can access this users from the page users or you can in fact change this to user list it's better it's a user list it's better to use the proper variables so can we see here users just for testing I'm going to print here this user list just for testing purpose can we see here something yes we have got something so a list is returned here which is containing multiple user objects look at the user objects so we have got multiple user objects because there are multiple users okay now we need to display this through the tag library properly so I required a table here I'm going to prepare this grid so the so border is 1 and this is your TR td and this is your serial number okay you can print here this user ID it's user ID I can print here if required it's user ID you can print the name of user and what what are the details we can print from user you can check this just a moment we can check the domain object user so we have user ID name phone email address login name password role okay these many fields we can use 
so just let me use one by one it's users name phone then email address it's email then we can print here address and uh, after address we can take here login name we can use okay fine it's a login name it's a login name or you can say it's a username it's a username then we can use here role no need to use role here because all the users all the list all the records are by default they are users so no need to use role but we can use this login status so let me print the existing login status here so the next will be login status it's a login status or you can use here it is status just status okay and I can use here a tag library this is C colon for each just take this so do we have tag library added here we have core tag library already present so just use that for each and this is your variable it's your u u stands for user and the users will be taken from it's a user list okay we have got this and repeat this I copied all the items and we can add here one var status st this st will help me to identify the serial number st dot count this will return serial number and then you can get the value from user property st not st this is u dot user id name this is name of the user phone number of the user these are the property I'm calling from user domain object this is email then address then username it's a I called it username what I call it login name okay so use it properly it's login name and this is your status so you can print here this status so the status is a login status property okay so we can use here login status fine so let's print this let's run this quickly okay we have got all the values so these are the details we can make this th table header so just a moment I'm going to change this to th just quickly update okay it's done so I could see here this heading and we are able to see here all the user list all the users we can see here and the status is one one stands for active so we'll change this to uh, the readable names so one and two we should not display here status we'll make it proper active and block in next video so this is how we can check the users this is how we can get all the user list and you can observe here these are all users it is not listing here administrator you can check from the database can you see that uh, user ID one this is Amit Amit Raj and uh, this Nitin these three records are not present here look at this Amit Raj and Nitin you cannot see here because they are administrator so you will see here all the users only so this is enough for this discussion if you have any query regarding this video you can ask in comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates thank you very much for watching and see you in next video